Hello, I'm Maggie Hammond. I teach on the Complete Creative Writing course and I've worked as a novelist, a publisher, a journalist and I'm the author of Creative Writing for Dummies. I'm here to answer some common questions about writing. If you're writing an academic article, essay or book, you will need to do references. It's particularly important for students nowadays because almost every university will expect you to submit your work online to go through a plagiarism filter. And if you've lifted paragraphs or quotes from books and haven't mentioned the book and referenced them properly, then you can get in trouble for plagiarism. It's important also to reference books because it actually gets you more marks. If you say something's come from a book, it shows that you found the book, read the book, and been able to extract something useful from the book, and that's what writing an academic piece is all about. When you reference a textbook, you do it the following way. First of all, whether it's a footnote, an end note, or in-text referencing, you always start with the surname of the author or authors. Then you have their Christian name and or initials. Then you have the title of the book, which is normally in italics or might be in quotes. If you have an article within a book, then you'll put them separately, the article title first in quotes and the book title second in italics. Then you put where the book was published, who the book was published by, and you put the date on which it was published. You will also need to put page reference numbers if you're doing a quote. And that's how you cite a textbook.